Um, this is my Gen 2 Radeon. You see the lights are flashed through my other video because um, the fan quit and it's overheating. So see the four little uh, LEDs, the red ones? That means uh, your, your Radeon fan quit working and you need to replace it. If you uh, contact Ecotech, uh, they'll send them to you for free. See that again? So tonight I'm going to show you how to replace the new fan. It finally came in the mail. So I'm going to show you the tools you need and what it takes to change your power wire reef here. Um, so I got my Radeon uh, Gen 2. I got it all from the tank. So I was having an issue uh, with it overheating because the, van, the fan quit on it. Um, I finally got the new one to install. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. Anyone can do it. It's a few simple steps. So let's get started. Um, that's the old fan right now. That's the one that quit. So it doesn't work anymore. The little bearing's gone in it. So now it, my light's flashed. Just the four red LEDs letting me know that it's overheating now. So I don't want to keep going on and like ruin the whole unit because it's very expensive. So I got my new fan and components. So it comes with a new fan, new housing, new seal, and uh, four bolts. So I got my torque, my torque set here, and I got a uh, dust blaster so I can clean it right out really good. And I have just water and vinegar so I can just wash down my radion while I have it apart and clean it all up really nice so I have to keep the maintenance on it. So that's the components. Next, I'm going to show you how to take it apart. Okay, guys, let's get started. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to take this fan off, take the fan housing cover off. This is what holds these four bolts hold the fan into place. So we're going to take that off. So that should just come off like so. so you, these four screws that come with it, you're going to have to use those anymore. So they come with four new ones. We'll put those to the side. And then you're going to take off the little, this little uh, the fan screen here. We're going to clean that up after. So you can see, she, she sees, she sees. So next, we're going to take out all four corners. Place those to the side so we don't lose them. Like so. And then you're going to try to pop up a corner here. This can be tricky sometimes. So you're going to take this, this the piece of acrylic that comes with it. Especially if it's never been opened before, it could be a little, a little tricky. There we go. So now you're going to open this up here. You can see how dirty it is. We're going to have to clean that all up. So we're going to put that to the side as well. So now you got your driver component for your LEDs in here. So here's the fan the old fan. You can see sometimes you can tell usually you'll see like a like a brown heated stain here so it's pretty dirty so we're gonna take that out <clears throat> so what you're gonna have to do is unhook it from the motherboard from the driver and be very careful you don't want to break your prongs they're very small so there so there there's your old one taken out take that to the side <clears throat> it's no good so I got my Dust blaster, I got, picked that up at the dollar store. Pull the tab here, release tab, and... Clean her all up here. So now, got that taken out of place. So you see here, these four corners, we gotta get to those bolts as well, but we have to take the seal off around the edges. Be very careful with that, you don't wanna break that. Put that to the side as well. So now we have to get the motherboard out. We have to take unclip all the electronic cables from it. Be very careful as well. You don't wanna break these. Bring everything to the side because you see it uh, where the heatsink is here for the fans. You have to replace that with the new one they send with you. So I got everything unhooked on here. So we're going to take our our torque our torque set, get the right size. Remember which one it is? Try it out here. No, a little too big.
you go, that's the right size. So I'm going to change that right now. So I'm going to take out that driver. There's just two little screws. Take the driver out. You don't want to lose these. Paste them there. Pop the other one as well. There we go. Now, this is really careful. I don't know what they got on the back of it. It could be glued. So be very, very careful. This is the brains right here. So that's coming out very easily. So there you go, there's the driver. And then you gotta be careful. Behind this, there's a little, see that? A computer ribbon, if you wanna call it? You gotta pull that out as well. See, you just pull that out. Then you gotta try to place that back in again. When you get, so if we check it out here, you see there's been a little bit of water damage there, but it's still working. I'm just gonna give that a shot with the duster. Clean her off, and we're gonna place that to the side. So now this is opened here and here. So now we have to take of these four screws as well, and the bolts. So if we flip that over, you can see this is where the hanging components are. So so you flip back over, there should be just a bolt on the other side. So now I gotta try to find the next size torque here. Mm -hmm. so I found the right one. So there we go, the next size. So the ones that you're using, your torque, is good to keep to the side so you can find them a lot faster. So put this in here and my torque screwdriver. Now take out all four corners of these. Place those to the side. That's two. Three. Four. All right. So there's a fourth one. So now, we're gonna flip this over. You see how that acrylic stayed there with the little ribbon. The ribbon's for all your touchscreen components. So we're gonna clean up that up after too. So now we're gonna flip this over, just like this. So now you see the heat sink. Let's just give that a little shot. Clean that up. Got a fly in there. Good time to do this. A little bit of maintenance on her. I'm an electrician by trade, so I enjoy going around with electronics and all those other kinds of stuff. So now we got that opened up. So now we're going to find the small torque again. Let's see if it's good. That's when I said put it to the side so you can find it again. Which size it is? That would be her. These ones are not. These ones aren't that tight, so you don't want to lose these ones because you're gonna need to keep them. Guess I'm gonna put it, switch it into the wrench, into the handle. Now it's pretty tight. Hopefully it's gonna come. Not gonna get snagged on here. There we go. She's coming now. There's two. three there's four all right we don't want to lose those screws so we're just going to pull that out see just like so that's the old housing so let's keep our little screws so they don't send you new ones with those ones it's too bad they wouldn't so we're going to set those to the side as well it looks pretty much the same they send you two but the problem is the other screws are a little bit longer and they go through so now that's the new one. We're going to place this back in, put the new one back in. Let's just clean that up a bit. There we go. So we're going to place the new one back in. It looks pretty identical. There we go. There we go. So we're going to put our four screws back in again that we just took out. Try to get them. Let's just place them in here first. Make things a lot easier. 
Yeah, it started to get a little annoying there. A little lights flashing, you know, knowing oh, it's overheating. When's the, the driver going to go? So now we just place that in gently. And then we can start tightening these into place. You don't want to cross thread them. Okay, here. Okay, there's one. Just get it pre-started. Come on, you little guy here. There's two. Three. And there's four. Okay, so now we can just tighten those right up nice and snug. It's two snug. Three snug. Four snug. Alright, so now we got the other that's the top housing. See it's dirty, so I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of vinegar. Vinegar water. So I'm gonna use to clean my glass in my tank as well because it's not toxic to the fish so we'll shine that right up there we go let's dry her up a bit this is perfect time to get maintenance keep her all nice and clean this is a very expensive fixture all right well we got it open we'll shine this up a little bit as well All right, so we got that part is good. So now we gotta try to slide this back in here, that little ribbon again. So you got your ribbon, you gotta slide in the back into that little crack there. There we go, feed that in. So it lines up your four, your four screws. You're gonna flip that over again. And this is where you gotta line up your, your bottom screws and remember, and we get the your bigger torque set to the side and pull your ribbon up through there so it's set for the next installation so there's one do the other corner two <clears throat> the other corner three This is when you get a lot of stuff around here, you try to find your screws. In your other corner, four. And then we'll change the handle on the screwdriver. Might have to do this in two parts because they only get 15 minutes on, on YouTube. So we're just going to retighten these. So one, two, Three, four. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to do this in a part two. It takes a little while, so just bear with me.